seem like the guy cares. Thieves are making it tough for the United Board of Missions to fulfill its mission. Day after day, week after week, cameras have caught them in the act, stealing donations. And it's just heartbreaking to know that people that don't really need this are coming and stealing from our community because what comes to us goes back out. For directors Debbie Perkins and Jay Keith, stolen donations isn't new, but they didn't know how bad it was until they installed new cameras last summer. Our stock at our resale shop had started to really to diminish because of the number of stuff we were losing. Uh, we're losing 80% of our donations, and all of our donations go there to be able to be sold to support what we're doing here. So This ring camera footage shows some of them rifling through trash bags, others hauling away an entire dining room set. Table and four chairs that disappeared. We've seen multiple. Which, which would have brought us over $100. Keith says they shouldn't be so quick to take what's not theirs. Because the videos have been shared and the things that we have posted online and social media, four or five of the individuals have been identified by citizens who have seen those things and called us and, and called the police call and the reported police them. Yeah. Because it could land you in some big trouble. Because it's a nonprofit, there's a law in place that ups it one degree for anything they do. So if it's a Class C, it's automatically a Class B. Well, most of our thefts are probably Class B, which makes them to Class A, which could be jail time. He says these incidents are still being investigated, but he wants you guys to continue to donate because the need is still here. In Port Arthur, Ebony Coleman, 12 news.